Manakam, today we are going to solve problem 3.22 from Fundamentals of Electric Circuits by Alexander in Sadiq's 5th edition. The question is to determine V1 and V2. So let's draw the circuit so that it is easier for us to analyze. So this is node 1 in which we have this V1 potential available and this is at V2 potential. Okay. And this Tolerance will be existing here, and here we will be having this minus by V0. Okay, so with this details, let's analyze the circuit. So, we are going to follow nodal analysis so that we are applying KCL at node 1. So, we know what is KCL, it is Kitchoff's current law. So, it states that it means summation of incoming current is equal to summation of leaving current in a particular node. So here we have the incoming current as this I1 to this node, I2, I3 and this 3 amperes are leaving. So that we can write this as um, I1 is equal to I2 plus I3 plus 3. And for this I1, I2, I3 we can apply Ohm's law. So for this I1 we can write this as 12 minus V1 divided by this 2 ohm resistance. And for this I2 we can write this like... It is V1 minus this V2 divided by this 8 ohm and plus this I3. I3 is this V1 minus 0 divided by 4 ohms. So we get this is V1 by 4 plus this 3. Then when you expand this terms, we get this as 12 by 2 minus V1 by 2. And this 12 by 2 can be taken as 6, isn't it? So I brought it to this side and the remaining terms to the left hand side so that we get this as minus V1 by 2 minus V1 by 8 this becomes plus okay so plus V2 by 8 this becomes minus so minus V1 by 4 that is equal to 3 minus taking common denominator we can write this as minus 4 V1 minus V1 plus V2 minus 2 V1 that is equal to minus 3. So when you cross multiply this, we get this as minus 7 V1 plus V2 that is equal to minus 24. So this is our first equation. I have changed the sign here. Okay. 7 V1 minus V2 that is equal to 24. Now we are going to apply KCL at node 2. So at node 2, if you see here, this I2 current is entering, this 3 amps current is entering, this I4 is leaving. So we can take this as I2 plus I3 equal to I4. So that we can apply Ohm's law for this I2 and I4. So for this I2, it is V1 minus V2 divided by 8 ohms. And for this I4, it is V2 minus of minus 5 V0 divided by 1. So that becomes V2 plus 5 V0. Okay. So here... I am going to bring it to this side so it becomes minus 3 remaining terms to the left hand side. So we can write this as V1 by 8 minus V2 by 8. This is becomes minus V2. This becomes minus 5 V0. Okay. And we take the common denominator so that we get this as V1 minus V2 minus 8 V2 minus 40 V0. That is equal to minus 3. So the equation is now V1 minus 9 V2 minus 40 V0 cross multiplying this we get this as minus 24 so this is our second equation then we take this alone that is this particular branch alone and here we can write this as 12 minus v1 is equal to v0 okay so for v0 we write the expression and this is taken as equation number 3 now we bring this second equation in this we are substituting the equation 3 okay so we get this as V1 minus 9V2 minus 40 into instead of this V0 we can write it as 12 minus V1 that is equal to minus 24. So it is 40V1 here already 1V1 one one is there. So 41V1 minus 9V2 minus this 4IT that is equal to minus 24. So we get this as 41V1 minus 9V2 that is equal to minus 24 plus 4IT that is equal to 456. So we get the fourth equation as 41V1 minus 9V2 that is equal to 456. So we write the first equation as well as this fourth equation. 
multiply equation by 9 so that we get this as 63 v1 minus 9 v2 that is equal to 216. Let's take this as fifth equation and then we change the sign for this. So now we are going to subtract this fifth equation from the fourth equation. Equation so that these two get cancelled. Then here we get this as minus 22 v1 that is equal to 240. v1 is equal to minus 240 divided by 22. That is v1 is minus 10.9 ohms. This is the first answer we get. Substituting this V1 value, that is minus 10.9 volt in equation 1. What is equation 1? The 7 V1 minus V2 equal to 24. So 7 into, instead of V1, we write the value minus 10.9 minus V2 is equal to 24. That is the 7 into minus 10.9 gives us minus 76.3 minus V2 is equal to 24. V2 is equal to minus 76.3 minus 24. So that is equal to minus 100.3 volts. So this is the second answer. So we got both answers. V1 and V2. Thank you.